Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be going over the rapier. So I do have a rapier here. It's actually a 550 gear score, very basic, not going to have any gems on it. Going to be a very, very basic rapier. If we actually go to the stats as well, we're going to go to the attributes and see that I have a 117 dexterity build going on right now going very balanced for testing purposes. Um, so we are going to go into the rapier and test every single ability out. So when you're using a rapier, there's going to be a lot of different abilities you're going to want to try out. Obviously, some better for PvE and some better for PvP. We're going to kind of skip past the passives today. We're going to talk mainly about, like I said, the actual abilities themselves. So we're going to start off on the blood side. So to start off, we're going to have the Tondo. So slash so quickly that it extends the reach of your blade. The strike deals direct damage but also applies a bleed that will deal 100% weapon damage over 12 seconds. This can stack up to 3 times refreshing previous applications. We're also going to get the Flourish and Finish. So Flourish performs an attack knocking back enemies. Pressing Light Attack at the end of Flourish will continue this ability by automatically performing Finish. Finish lunges forward, consuming all rapier bleeds on any target hit, dealing 110% of their damage immediately. So jumping onto the last one, we have Flurry. So obviously, remember guys, you can mix and match when doing these, uh, but I am going to grab every single ability, and we're going to go kind of through each and every ability. So the first off, let's just uh, commit these six here and uh, actually go through each and every one. So let's just start off with the straight up blood side. If we just go all, all the blood side, we go with the Tondo, the Flourish and Finish, and the Flurry. Um, I think we have all Grace already up. So let's go through the Grace actually first, just because like I said, guys, we have Grace already up. So we have Evade, we have Riposte, and then we also have Flesh. So those are going to be our current abilities. If we take a look here, we're going to be able to see an auto attack right now. That's just an auto. Um, and then we're going to go through the heavy attacks for both uh, or for this weapon as well. So that's going to be a heavy attack, obviously doing a lot more damage. There's a, a light attack that does a critical. Um, so 573 is my light attack. And then the heavy, that was a heavy crit, which is 1666, very high damage. Uh, but there's just a heavy attack at 988. And like I said, a light attack doing 573. So heavy attacks are very, very, very good. When using a riposte, that is going to be very hard to display against a mob like this, but you can actually repost, and if they attack you during this, you'll actually hit them back and stun them. That's a great time for you to actually go behind the enemy with maybe a roll and do a heavy attack behind, so you'll get a 1666 hit on the back of them. We now have the evade we want to talk about, so if you're attacking through with your evade, you can actually use your evade. And you can dash through certain abilities. It's a lot of people call them, I forget what they exactly call them, uh, but there are little abilities that you can actually jump through with your evade. So you can actually use it sideways as well. So if we're, let's say, holding left, we can actually kind of curve around on the right and left side as well. We'll do it on the right side now as well. And there's obviously more ways to go extreme about this to do, you know, some combos. We're going to kind of just show you every ability and you can think in your head of how to actually go about using those. And I'll go over some builds later on, obviously, in future videos as well. And then we have the flesh. So flesh goes dashing through. So 799 damage. And there's a lot of abilities that will actually you know, or a lot of passives that will actually help you out with some of these abilities like Flesh, for example, as we see the sun rising and the shadows kind of coming back on us. Um, you know, Flesh is one of those, for an example, that you can actually do a backstab through so you could actually turn around and, you know, do an auto attack on the backside if we got that ability up. We're not going to show that today, though. I do want to go into back into the rapier and show you guys, like I said, the other side as well. So blood, that is going to be Tondo. That is going to be Flourish and Finish and then Flurry. So first off, let's go with our Tondo. Let's go with the um, Flourish and Finish, and then let's go with the Flurry as well. So now we have those selected as our abilities, and so Q is going to be the, obviously, like I said, Tondo. If we take a look at the abilities, Tondo, like we said, it's been a little bit since we talked about it, so we can go over what those do. Tondo slashes so quickly that it extends the reach of your blade. This strike deals direct damage, but also applies a bleed that will deal 100% weapon damage over 12 seconds. This can stack up to three times refreshing previous applications. So that's very, very strong if you can actually consistently hit this on them. Um, you can see the cooldown on it is about eight seconds or nine seconds. Do remember you can actually get these cooldowns much lower with gear as well as passives on the rapier, but you can always reapply then. And then you can see that there is two ticks. So you're getting 37, 37, 37. So there's actually every, uh, I believe every second they're getting hit with two, uh, two damage of 37 or two 
pieces of damage of 37. Here you're seeing three. So a lot, a lot of damage going down right there. We're going to hit it one more time and this stack will not make a fourth. It'll only keep it at three or it should only keep it at three. And see, there you have it. We have it at three still doing that damage. And if we hit our, uh, our R, which is, like I said, that flurry and finish, you can see the massive amount of damage it just did there. Uh, 469. Let's do the Q again so you can get those stacks continuing to go. So 37, you're getting a lot of damage there, uh, over 100 damage just in bleeding effects. And we can also show the very last one. That is going to be, if we actually go through here and show you guys, that is going to be the flurry. So enter a pose stance and unleash a series of five quick thrust attacks with each strike dealing more damage. Flurry can be dodged and canceled at any time. So it's very, very strong in PvE, but I will say flurry, guys, to be honest with you guys, it's very, very hard to use in PvP because it is one of those, like they said, very easy to cancel. But the Tondo is a very, very strong ability if you can use correctly. You don't even need really the flurry and, or sorry, the uh, flourish and finish. I'm trying to think of the exact wording here, but the flourish and finish is one of those abilities that does add with the Tondo very well, but you actually don't need it. It's not a necessary, or necessity, I should say. Um, you know, it's one of those abilities, Tondo specifically, that I think could be a good one to add into your grace build if you can hit just a few of those tondos that is a lot of damage like i said over the span of 12 seconds so you can actually see here when applying the first bleed stack to an opponent this cooldown is reduced by 10 percent and if you hit only one target even on a blocked hit this cooldown is reduced by 25 percent and then you have the improve your direct damage from tondo by 100 percent if you are four meters away from your target or more so they can get very, very strong. Obviously, the same goes with Flourish and Finish, as well as Flurry. So Finish deals 100% of the Rapier's bleed damage instead of only 10, 110%. So very, very strong um, you know, passives that go along with these abilities. And I'm not, like I said, reading too much into those. And the momentum side of things, very, very strong as well. So gain 25% increased damage on your next slide attack or heavy attack after performing an ability ends on hit or after three seconds. So great, great abilities here with the Rapier. I just want to give you guys a quick understanding on how all these abilities did come about and actually work in the actual game. Um, you know, the Rapier, in one of my opinion, is the uh, one of the favorite. Like I said, I love the Rapier. It's definitely a fun one because of all the movement you get on the Grace side of things. I personally like the Grace side of things a little bit more, uh, and that's just because I'm used to it maybe, or, you know, I like these abilities. Uh, we can't change them until the abilities are back off cooldown, but you can see that, you know, with this you can actually see the amount of movement you can get, obviously, with Flesh as well as um, Evade. And then you can also, like I said, if they jump on you, maybe you're using a bow. And uh, you can repost, and it'll actually knock them back, you know, like a counterattack. Roll behind them, get a quick attack on them, and then continue on the fight. And uh, if you need to, with that repost, you can continue to gain ground as well, keep rolling away. That is obviously if you're using light armor. So that's just my thoughts on the rapier. I just want to give you guys an idea of all of the abilities featuring the rapier. We are going to have a video about sword and shield, hatchet, spear, great axe, warhammer, bow, musket, fire staff, life staff, and ice gauntlet in future videos. So if you guys want to stay up to date with New World as well as stay up to date with all of my gameplay personally, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. I'll see you guys all in the next one.